If you are interested in the internals of large language models, then this LLM visualization by Brendan Bycroft could be of interest. He has created this web page to visualize a small LLM of the sort that's behind ChatGPT. It's been rendered in 3D and it shows all the steps to run a single token inference. For example, if you see that this is introduction and in this walkthrough, the target is that there are these six letters C, B, A, B, B, C, which are which are being considered a token each and then the target is to sort them in alphabetical order like a b b c c so in that case just click on this continue and you will see that this is the input which is being rendered and then each token has been assigned a number which is the token index and then this token sequence of number can be entered into the model as you can see there it is going into the token embed and you can keep pressing space and it will walk you through and in the 3D view, each green cell is represented being processed and the each blue cell is a weight. There you go. So it is being processed and a weight being assigned. And then it moves uh, as you progress, like each number in the sequence first gets turned into 48 element vector, which is embedding. And then embedding is passed through the model. And then it is showing you what is the output. It's just going through it. Pretty cool. It doesn't cover everything, but it covers the overall basic architecture so that you would understand how the things are passing through the model <clears throat> from each layer and how this prediction of next token is happening in the sequence. Of course, it's not everything, but as I said, you get the high level overview of what exactly is happening from this introduction, embedding layer norm, projection, MLP, transformer. And then this softmax function, you can also select it individually to see what is happening in each step. And then finally, you get the uh, output from this visualization. If you look at the top, right now the selection is nano GPT, but you can go with GPT to, to small, GPT to Excel, and also GPT 3. And of course, the parameters are higher. In, in each one of them. So this visualization contains the walkthrough guide of the steps as well as also these interactive elements to play with. And you can also move it around if you like. Also, it only works on the desktop. So you won't be able to run it on the mobile or any such uh, tablet devices. <clears throat> and I believe there's a real advantage to unpacking a set of abstraction here flattening them out. Abstraction can be useful for terseness and management, but they can be a real blocker to seeing the big picture. And I agree with Brendan there. With this uh, LLM visualization tool, you can see the whole thing at once. You can see where the computations take place, its complexity and relative sizes of the tensors and weights. For example, we just learned that, you know, uh, when we go there, that what is the difference between these weights and that uh, the tokens which we were assigning. How good was that? Especially here in this one that being processed and it, that converts it converted into the weights. So the model with all the animation is tiny and to make it more tractable, of course, for comparison, that is why you can also check the GPT-3 one and you would know that how big that model is as compared to this nano GPT. And also uh, when you see what it takes to just produce a single value in a mat mold, the sheer scale of these things become apparent. And then we start to appreciate why it takes so long to train a model and why it is so complex to build these models from scratch and why so many computations are needed and why GPUs are the must here. So <clears throat> if you want to understand what each layer is doing, then that thing is not yet available. Maybe you can build it out. But all in all, I believe that real good tool. I will drop the link to it in video's description. So really massive stellar effort from Brandon for creating this. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.